Salutations! My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 100 days in modded 1.18 Minecraft live. That's right, I streamed this entire thing live on this channel, and now it's in video format for you to enjoy. I have one goal for these 100 days. By day 100, I will have killed the Warden, or died trying. I hope it's not that one. I did this entire thing in hardcore, meaning if I died at any point, it was over, and I just died in front of hundreds and hundreds of people. The pressure was on. But I won't keep you guys. This video is long enough as is, so enjoy 100 days of modded Minecraft 1.18. Live. I, I, I did it live. I'm excited. I'm nervous. All of this is happening real time. If I f up, I f up. And if you're watching this on YouTube, why don't you subscribe? The f is wrong with you? you. You haven't hit that button? Is this is this thing on? Like, subscribe. It, it, it's right there. I started off my 100 days like literally everyone and their mother starts off chopping trees. While running around the new world I'm about to spend 33 hours in, I found an exposed geode with citrine. It's not useful or anything, I just found it really pretty. What is useful is this Breath of the Wild tower that I found and scaled. At the top there was a chest with some emeralds, iron, and the main prize, a waystone. I took it with me for later. As night was falling, I ended up finding an underground village, a modded structure that was basically a village underground. It's not rocket science. But it did have about 947 iron golems in it, and if you've seen a Minecraft speedrun, you know what comes next. I gimped like five or six of these things and procured enough armor for a whole set of gear as well as an axe. I would have had a pickaxe too, but... And a broken iron pickaxe. You know what? I'm gonna fuse them together. What? That's not what I thought would happen. By the way, if you hear the whooshing in the background of the live audio, it's not a Spitfire 871 Mach 3 double barreled 360 no scoper jet. No, I just live in Texas and need an AC unit on me at all times or I spontaneously combust. Anyways. Day two, I found a rinky dink little island and decided that's where I was gonna hunker down for these 100 days. There are some actual strategic reasons for this spot, such as I don't wanna get my balls busted or nuts rusted or my life entrusted with a creeper, and less place for things to spawn and come and get me, the better. Finishing up night two, I made the basic necessities, like a farm, bed, and a couple of chests. Ah. Humble beginnings. The next morning, I went off to get a lay of the land. I found this old abandoned house and looted it for all it was worth, which was some iron and lapis and diamond horse armor. And it might be longer depending on what everyone's... Is that aggressive? I hate that Minecraft mods have made me like so anxious to the fact that I fucking look at a raven, a tiny little black bird that does mean death, but just otherwise harmless. And I'm like, ah, oh, that's gonna kill me, isn't it? After the crow scare, I wrapped up the day with a little mining, getting coal, iron, more basic necessities, and sapphire, which was easy to find and makes really good pickaxes. Like I said before, this mod pack is brand new, and while I've had experience with mod packs before, <coughs> go watch my other videos, this mod pack is based off fabric, not forge. So I'm pretty much lost in all the recipes and whatever the hell gobber means. I didn't spend all day marveling over what gobber can mean, however, and later on I went to go see what the giant mushroom I has in store for me. It's right next to my base, and the answer, well, just watch. It's going well, going well. Ooh, shit. What just happened? Oh, slowness. Slowness, I got shot in the balls, I guess. Woo! Already? Already? No, 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 no. No, 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 Okay, okay, okay. Okay, that's out of my depth. That is completely out of my depth. I did not know they would spawn with slowness arrows. Luckily, I managed to get away and ran into a village with a ruined portal and whatever this is. What are you? What the fuck is that, chat? Y'all got some fucking explaining to do. There's dinosaurs in my mod. Oh, the animal by the portal looks like a puppy. No, it doesn't. Have you ever seen a puppy? There were dinosaurs in my mod, and my chat was telling me they were cute puppies. This is gonna be a long 100 days. Chat's not all bad though, because they ended up loading up this mod pack themselves, which I'll link in the description, by the way, in case you want to play it. And my viewers told me to go back to a structure I found on day one, a graveyard because it has the chance of having a free totem of undying. So I said, fuck yeah, and went to look. Sadly, I didn't find one. It just couldn't be that easy, could it? I did tame a horse and named her Blackjack. If you get the reference, I'm genuinely impressed. Day six, I conquered my fears and struck down the evil, tameable, peaceful dinosaur. Welp. <laughs> Moving swiftly along, I fixed up the broken portal. I wanted to take a look inside the nether, not explore the whole thing, just get an idea of how bullshit it's gonna be for me. Why are they so strong? Uh oh. 
Well, I know why that thing's so strong. I was out here for three seconds, and my entire health bar just got cut in half. Yeah, I don't want to push this right now. We're going back home. Back in the right dimension, I'm in a backpack for extra storage, and it sucked. Well, we'll upgrade it later, but because I'm me, I managed to find a fucking ocean monument and bada bing bada boom, not breaking shit for the next 30 years. So I basically ran around all night until this wore off, which ended up being the right play because... Wandering Trader, what do you have, buddy? Pal! <laughs> The only problem was is that I had like 10 emeralds and I need a nice and reasonable 50 fucking six Goddamn capitalist and to add insult to injury a thunder leviathan type structure with 13 emeralds in it That's a lot, but not nearly as many as I need it So once again, I've been screwed out of a totem of undying. It's okay. It's not like I'm gonna desperately fucking need one <laughs> <laughs> Keep watching. The rest of day seven, I set up more chests. Christmas theme, because it was Christmas when the stream happened. Robbed some graves and looted some structures. Nothing too crazy. Day eight, I kept the searching going and found another giant mushroom that had slime balls in it. These slime balls are going to be really important later, and they're hard to find naturally in this mod, so score. Now, this is a 1.18 mod pack, meaning we have the beautiful new caves in the bottom of the world is now like negative 50 or something. So these caves were just beautiful and so luscious. Also, diamonds are super easy to find now. Day 10, I found more diamonds, but that's some Dumbo baby shit compared to what else I found. In a mine shaft, I found a sparkly blue gemstone in the walls. Mining it, I collected my first fucking piece of gobber. Now, I didn't know this at the time, but I'd started my trek to the most OP armor in this mod pack. Kinda. Also, in one of the chests was something called the Shards of Zephyr. I didn't think much about it until Chet had told me that I had found the secret to flight. Here's the play. Ready? One, two, three, go. Gobbert is right back there. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, really, fuck those spider egg sacs. As someone with arachnophobia, I fucking hate that with every fiber of my being, every fiber of my dog's being, my fish's being, blackjack's being, fucking everybody's being. I hate that, never again. Okay, I've been talking about gobber a lot, and you guys probably have no idea what it is. So let me explain. The gobber ore is one of the strongest gems in this game, and it makes some badass armor. But when you mine gobber, you only get goblets. Nine goblets makes one crystal, and one crystal, one gold, iron, and a diamond make a gobber ingot. So in total, I need like 27 diamonds, 27 gold, 27 iron, and around 66 gobber goblet. It works out because of crazy math. Don't worry about it. With gobber being the hardest ore to find, only appearing between zero and negative ten i was told by the creator of the mod pack himself that i should not go for a full set of this gear until i built a quarry so of course i made that my one fucking goal was to go for the gear without a quarry day 12 i surfaced up for air and was running around my base when i saw him <gasps> friend 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 unlike last time i made sure i didn't kill him we captured him and named him Friend. Yes, I'm building a platform with crafting tables, get fucked. I'm building this platform to put down an enchantment table. The main goal, of course, being Fortune 3. It turns out we can fortune up Gobber, and that's gonna be really useful. But I'm level 19, so I need to make like a mob grinder. However, I've been playing Minecraft for a millions and bajillions of years, and I've made those drop type ones before, and fuck that. This is modded, so I have a better idea. In this mod, if you're holding nothing in your hands, you can pick up chests, furnaces, and stuff like that. The only catch is it over encumbers you and makes you slow and you can't do anything while you're holding the object, except, you know, run and put it back down. You can see where I'm going with this. Among the items you can pick up and not change their block state are motherfucking monster spawners. And there's a souped up one under that giant mushroom that nearly killed me a couple days ago. So I grabbed that shit and yeeted back to my base as fast as I could. Now I had a monster spawner, but nowhere to put it. And just as natural it went horribly wrong. When I went to place the spawner, well, king hate this game. Holy shit. Holy shit. Can we not? Holy shit, you have so much fucking- There are problems. Oh my god. What do I do?
I swear to you, this is 100% real. I did this live, so there's <laughs> no way I could, like, bullshit that clutch or, like, edit it all together. I fucking lived there. That genuinely. And I say this a lot on this channel, but that genuinely was the closest I've ever been to death in Minecraft. I don't know how I could ever get closer. Catching my fucking breath, day 16, I ran my happy ass to a near settlement and did what always would cheer me up, robbing them blind. This actually turned out to be one of my best decisions, because they had lots of slime and slime balls, which aforementioned are very rare. And with them, I made slime boots, which basically made me invincible to the harsh effect of gravity. Instead of splatting on the ground like an EQ pancake, I merely bounced like a rubber ball. Neat. I also enchanted my pickaxe with some nice stuff, including Fortune 3 and Efficiency 4, so you know what that means. Day 18, we're back in the mine, specifically searching for diamonds, duh, and gobber. Like I said before, Gobber is fortunable, and with Fortune 3, I hopefully can find it without using a quarry. I found diamonds and Gobber today. Not enough, but plenty. With all the diamonds I just procured, I upgraded my shitty backpack to much less shitty, and the mob grinder to now drop items as well as XP with those, uh, diamond spikes. And okay, fine, I'll make diamond armor. Swiftly, I ran out of those 20 diamonds I just had, and now I'm empty again. But I enchanted my diamond armor, and we do actually need to talk about that. This is important for the 100 days, so just listen up. I promise promise the dumb nerd shit will be over soon. First off, we have the normal proc four and unbreaking four, yada yada, who cares? Once again, Dumbo baby shit. What's the big shit is Last Stand 2 and Untouchable. So I'll start off with Last Stand 2. Basically, if a hit is gonna kill me, instead, if I have enough levels, I'll live on half a heart and my XP bar takes the hit. As long as I have the levels to live it and it doesn't drop to zero, I'll live. So it's like having an extra cushion should things go horribly wrong. But I don't want things to have to escalate to that point, so that leads me to my next enchantment, Untouchable. This one is self-explanatory. I get hit, enemy get hit. I get fucked, enemy get fucked. Get it? Good, let's continue. This took both day 20 and 21 to get set up, but I think it's a very good move early game. So now we move on to day 22. Don't mind me, I'm just hoping to be ridiculously lucky here and find a mansion, you know, get a couple, um, <clears throat> totems. I got fucking nothing. No mansion, no totem, no happy. Me sad. To cultivate the sadness, I indulged in material therapy and made myself a badass sword out of all the gobber I had found. After enchanting, this thing does 13 and a half damage, which makes my diamond sword of 8.5 look like one of those pool noodles that you use to whack people with at the pool. Look, I, I know this analogy is a stretch, but you, you guys remember, right? Like those little like noodle things that flop around. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I swear I'm not talking about dicks. Editor EQ, put the noodle on the screen. What do you mean no? You are my editor. You're supposed to do it. Okay, just move on then. Fuck it, whatever. Opinion on boobies? Fog. Day 24 was housekeeping, or dirt island keeping. I made my walls so my entire base is now nice and safe, and enchanted more stuff. Day 25, I finished up my enchantments and sorted some items and made a diamond bow. Then I gave it quick draw, and this thing shoots really fast. However, that was 25 days, and that's the end of my first stream. Is that a chicken nugget? I think time's up now. We're gonna wrap up stream here. Thank you all so much for- Starting off stream two right, I stole a magma block and soul sand from an underground village. I wanna make a bubble elevator that leads down to a mine shaft because I'm gonna have to do a lot of mining in the future. I also went to grab all the algae that I could need for a water elevator. And while I'm down here, I might as well look for some gobber. What we're looking for, chat, is like, I'm gonna try negative nine. We wanna find something called gobber ore. That's the big thing we're looking for. I wasn't finding any gobber, but I did find a glow squid, so that's at least kinda cool. And then a fucking blood moon started to rise. <sighs> that's not okay. I ran home and lit up every inch of my base so that nothing could spawn and obliterate me. I managed to live this time with a lot of lights and cowering like a bitch. After that fiasco, I completed my elevator down to Y0, and I was really proud of myself. Yeah! <laughs> I've never done that before. I've never made one of these before. Hell yeah. Woo! After my celebration, I went back to the nether because I need quartz for a project. Only problem was when I entered the quartz. Oh my God. Already with this shit? Hey, lag. Yeah, for some reason uh -oh. the nether crashed. 
but not to worry, the dev came to my rescue and updated the mod so that this doesn't happen anymore. One more reset and we're back in business. Checking my map, I noticed a bastion and asked my chat if I should storm it. The vote was a unanimous yes, so I went in. While in the bastion, I found many piglins and slapped an eviction notice on their doorstep, but I only found like two ancient debris and that was it. That's all this place had to offer. I do have to say that this was rather nerve wracking cause I'm a little more mortal than I'd like to be traversing places like this. So we're going back home for now. My storage was getting a little cluttered, so I needed to fix that, which is why I'm grabbing citrine and amethyst. I promise it, it'll make sense. But who the fuck was that? Sure, but okay. Anyways, with all that amethyst, I ran my happy little ass back up to the surface, but I was stopped by this gorgeous cave and I found this thing. Not the moss. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, there are dragons in this. Oh my god, you said there weren't. You said there weren't, chat. You said there weren't. Yes, that was a dragon. And chat was really helpful to tell me it was the rarest mount in the game and that my untouchable armor had just killed it. Also, why did no one tell me dragons were in this mod? Day 32, I went back to one of my waystones because there was a rare geode I needed to find, but my eyes caught something else. A weird looking structure pit thing. This is what chat had to say. Run away immediately. So heeding chat's advice, I left that place for now. Grabbed some topaz, which I didn't know would be blue and headed back home. Then I spent the rest of the day building the storage room. Yes, I know this is a little extra for a storage room, but I, I don't know, I, I like it. Filling up the storage room today, it was time for organization. Well, kinda. What we're gonna use is this network master to connect all the chests up to a network and link all of them. These pink cables connect the chest to the network master and they should let us access everything we have and search for it all at once. Instead of, you know, chat memeing on me for looking through 50 chests just to find one cob of corn. By the end of day 33, it was looking good and storage was easy. I guess I got too confident in my abilities or some dumb shit cause I decided on day 34 that I would do the dumbest thing humanly possible tried to automate some machinery. I'll speed the absolute dick waffles out of this footage for you while I explain. All I was trying to do was make a redstone furnace, something that could run off of renewable energy because I was running out of coal and didn't want to mine for it all 100 days. What I didn't expect was that this would lead me down a rabbit hole of turning tree sap into rubber, making circuits, electrical cables, alloy smelters, and the coup de fucking gras. When I finally got the furnace working, not only did I still power it with coal, it was 300 times slower than the diamond furnace I'd been using so effectively before. This was basically useless. So I hope you enjoyed the that I wasted two days on a glorified toaster oven that's too slow to toast toast. Day 36, I went back in the mines. The only thing that would make me feel better after wasting 40 minutes is just to find some more fucking gobber. While searching for more gobber, I broke into this beautiful mushroom cave. And I can't make this up. Just watch the live footage. Holy shit, this cave, chat. It feels like a boss is gonna just, like, come out at any time, doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like a boss is about to just... You've, you're joking. You're joking. You're joking. You're joking. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Go back. Fuck, go back. You can't make that shit up. I, I, I promise you, you can go back and watch the full VOD. I'll leave the VODs uh, in the description if you want to go watch the entire thing. I'll put them in a playlist. You can go watch that back. I can't make that up. That's not edited. That's just how that happened in real time. Now the plan has changed slightly. We're now gonna go find that void blossom while collecting all the gobber we can on the way. Chat told me this thing was in a cave like adjacent to me and it's got its own boss arena. So when I went looking, I found this. I think this might be where she is. I think, I think we might've found her. I did not in fact find her. However, what I did find was an underground mine shaft. It had rails and barrels and tons of stuff like that. And we'll just call it a dungeon for now. This dungeon was absolutely teeming with spawners and not just any normal spawners. No, these fuckers were skeletons decked to the nines. They had knockback on their arrows, speed, resistance, and the anti-EQ enchantment, which if you don't know, is the enchantment dedicated to fucking me. But of course, what is risk without reward? And this dungeon held a fuck ton of reward. Every chest had tons of iron, diamonds, gold, emeralds, slime, the declaration 
Declaration of Independence, the cigarettes my dad went to get, everything. It was the total package. Things did get pretty dicey at one point when the overpowered skeleton spawned a boss that was invisible, stole my health for itself, and started regenning. But I did manage to take that thing down with a little strat I like to call being a bitch. It's where you sit on a platform out of reach and just smack them until they fall over. It works every time. After that fiasco on day 39, I made my way lower to bedrock where I found the void blossom. And this is how that fight went. Oh, there she is. What does she do? Okay. How far do you fucking hit? Ah, not far enough, bitch. You regen, but only to the level. Come on. Get out of here! Fuck yeah! Boss 1 defeated! Yes, I gimped the hell out of her, but did you see the damage she was doing? And this is hardcore, you can't blame me. Next up, day 40, and we got some gobber. In fact, almost all the gobber I need, I think. Get fucked, idiot. <laughs> they called me a bitch, so I called them a bitch backwards. You are 10 gobber missing? That's not true. I'm 10 gobber missing if I want a pickaxe as well. I'm one gobber. Anyways, about the amount of gobbert that I don't have here, and I'm so happy that we're gonna hit it. But you know what I'm more happy about? Dude, how, dude, chat, I called it. Chat, I fucking called it. And with that, we had done it. We'd done the impossible, or at least the highly unlikely, and collected all the gobber I'm gonna need for a full set of gear. It took like 20 days collectively, but that's okay. I made a whole set of gobber today, and then I enchanted the ever-living hell out of it. My gobber gear is really special, and there's a couple reasons that I really wanted it. When you wear a full set of this stuff, you get water breathing and feeding, meaning my armor feeds me and hunger is never a problem now. But we can take this a step further. I enchanted my gear with all the regular stuff, even using a disenchanter to take enchants off my old gear before giving up and switching to a dark enchanter, which lets me cherry pick my enchants. But the enchants I really care about are metabolizing. Metabolizing is a modded enchant that lets your armor, when damaged, repair itself with your hunger instead of using durability and breaking. You see where I'm going with this, right? In full gobber, my armor now basically repairs itself. And as a little cherry on top, I now have more hearts due to the new hearty enchants. That's what I call being fucking decked. Day 43 was kind of a no brainer. I'm back in the nether. I have about two and a half hours left of stream, and I promise I'd kill the Ender Dragon by day 50. So as you can see, I found me a fortress, got all the blaze rods I could need, and decided I would do something stupid. This is Eclipse, after all. For the content. That's fair. Woo! Okay! Okay! Am I immune to fire now? I am immune to fire! <laughs> I will no longer burn ever again! <laughs> I started my route back to the portal, and since I'm now fireproof, I jumped in the lava lake and started swimming. But you know what's not fireproof? My newly made diamond bow. That was returned to sender? That's fucking sick. I accidentally pressed the wrong key, and there it went. Okay, I didn't want that thing anyways. It's fine. That's that's all right. I didn't, I didn't spend like forever enchanting it with the best stuff that I possibly could or anything. No, it's fine. It's good. It's, no, I like it. No, it's not really. It's good. Silver lining, I found a little dungeon to the lava and it had a lot of good loot, like a ton of ancient debris. And this place had a ton of spawners for blazes and nagas, which I broke before they became a problem or even existed. I frankly don't want to even know what a naga is. And it held wither skeleton spawners. These weren't really useful because uh, it's specifically coded for these spawners to not drop wither skulls. I found that out the hard way, but we'll get to that later. Moving on, day 46, and I don't know if it's some mod in this, but for some reason, endermen don't spawn very frequently in the warped forest, like they usually do in vanilla. So instead, I'm gonna have to get my pearls from piglin trades, which means that gold in the dungeon I found is gonna come in really handy. I had to take off my chest plate while trading with them, otherwise they'd kill themselves on me, but taking my shirt off seemed to calm them down. 
I don't want to think about the connotation of that. Moving swiftly along, I got all the pearls and the blaze rods. Day 47, I made a bow that's better than the dumb, stupid diamond bow that I'm totally not really salty about. So I made this one out of gobber and gave it all the enchants I could. Now I think I'm properly equipped to fight the ender dragon. Maybe a little overkill with the gobber gear and a bow that does a lot of damage, as you'll see shortly. But hey, this is hardcore. Overkill never hurt anyone. I also brought my slime sling and slime boots that I just made and a hang glider. I'll explain what this is all for here in a second. This is my let out for the end, and I think I'm stacked, so we're heading off. Using the slime sling and hang glider to keep the momentum, you could say I kind of flew fast. Finding the stronghold was a fucking cinch with this thing. Much easier than some other stronghold location attempts that should not be named. Day 48, I had found the stronghold and cheesed with my map to find the portal room. I placed the eyes, set up some badass music, and went to town. This pillar. Why my arrows just not working? before it even landed I need all you all the shit you just dropped hun yeah this bow might be a little overpowered it's okay that little baby bitch of a dragon isn't our end goal anyway she did drop some dragon scales that might become useful later though well that's that now let's go grab the elytra and more importantly we're gonna grab some purple blocks as well they're needed to build the winged crafting bench which contrary to its name is not a flying crafting table but it's actually what we need to use those shards of zephyr to make some badass wings so i picked up the elytra some purple, and ran off to find this it's another repurposed structure once a desert temple now an end temple of doom destruction and fuckitude to loot this thing i needed to take out a metric fuck ton of tnt after that that I took a waystone that I found in one of the Breath of the Wild towers, placed it down, and teleported straight home. I now have a way back and forth from the end. Now that I'm back home, I have one more goal before the end of stream two. I wanted to make the Phoenix Wings, which required a lot of blaze powder. I got that by taking the spawner that I stole from the nether. Oh, by the way, I did that when I went to the fortress. You didn't miss anything. I just walked it back to my portal. It's been sitting at the bottom of the lake waiting for use, and now it's had its time to shine. I got the powder and only burned down like half a forest in the process, so like basically nothing. Then I thinned out my local chicken population, leaving one survivor to go through survivor's guilt and crafted the wings. These wings aren't creative flight, unfortunately. Just a lytra that I don't ever have to put on and that will never break. So I still say that these things are nutty. But with that comes close stream number two. After sleeping, I'd figured out the next course of action for these 100 days, and it was complete and utter vindictive murder. We're gonna kill as many bosses as I can, starting with the OG Minecraft bosses, the Elder Guardian and the Wither. And fuck it, we'll kill the Ender Dragon again while I'm at it. I'm doing this because I'm a badass, and totally not because I forgot to give the Ender Dragon's dragon breath last time like an idiot. No, 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 no. Why would you even insinuate something like that? Oh, hey, Elder Guardian, how convenient. A subject change, get fucked. These things were really easy to kill, but I still had a problem. Problem. See, my aforementioned dumbassness transcends reality sometimes and becomes ultra mega mondo epsilon dumbassery. <sighs> what I mean is, while having mining fatigue, I place down a shulker box. Fuck. Well, while I wait here for 30 years to lose mining fatigue, I might as well go on and kill the other Elder Guardian so he doesn't re up the effect and keep me trapped here. I killed him and he dropped a couple trident pieces, which got me thinking. And now I want a trident. He didn't drop enough to make a trident though, and I was one short on day 52. I went searching for another set of guardians so I could make said trident. While looking though, I found another repurposed desert temple that had become an ocean temple. Of course I had to loot it. There were a couple boss drowns here that made this hard, however, and this happened. I think I got him. No, I don't. <laughs> <gasps> okay, boys! Well, I guess I don't have to slaughter more guardians now. Hey, I ain't complaining. I looted the quite lackluster temple and headed back home to soup up my new trident. When I got home, I put Riptide and Photosynthetic on it so it would repair itself in the sun, and then took out one of those dragon scales that our friend Gene dropped and infused my trident with one to make the dragon trident. Apart from the name and, and icon, it's, it's just a purple trident, but it's cool, I guess. And with the phoenix wings, Chuck, Chuck it. 
Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And because I apparently did so many things on day 52, we're still not done with all the notes I have on it. At nighttime, I looted a sunken ship and got a buried treasure map. Found the treasure and took the heart of the sea, which is something we're gonna need for later. Finally, we're on day 53, and I'm back in the nether to get some stuff done. First of all, yes, I am tridenting through the lava, thank you for noticing. I first headed off to the ancient village that I found a couple days ago and looted it for all it was worth, which, I, I didn't mention it because it was basically just a lot of pretty blocks. But afterwards, I did find this structure, and I'll just let the stream speak for itself. Is that looks like a bastion? It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's an arena. I swear it's an arena. Chat, you cannot tell me this is not an arena. Chat saying use the stone. Other chat, other things chat are saying are just mind this and don't be a pussy. I see, I see, I get it, I understand. It is abundantly clear that that is just the Legend of Zelda hand boss. I didn't bring any gapples. Chad, I didn't bring any fucking gapples. Whoo! Sheesh! All right, let's dance. Ante up. Get fucked. Get fucked, buddy. He's breaking blocks behind me. I have to stand still to fucking regen. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Alucard, what the fuck is happening? Holy shit, this place is up in smithereens. Open. Okay. Open. Yes! Woo! Yeah! Okay. Hand eye boss. Badass. D54. This is about to suck. With the Ender Dragon killed and the Guardian as well, all that is left is the Wither, meaning I headed back to the Nether for more Wither Skulls. Wither skulls. Wither skulls. <sighs> okay. So this mod is very new, and it's gonna have some problems. Getting wither skulls is one of those problems. Because of a bug that has just recently been patched at the time of uh, the script, I could not get skulls to drop from wither skellies, and they just wouldn't drop any no matter what. And before you spam my comment section with, oh, skulls just have a low drop rate, I have a PhD in Minecraft, and you're an idiot. No, no, shut up. This mod, for some reason, makes it to where wither skeletons don't drop any skulls Period. This has been patched by now, I'm sure, but at the time of stream, it wasn't. And I didn't know this till after I had enchanted my sword with beheading and looting three and killed about a thousand wither skeletons and got nothing. So don't tell me my drop rates are just, you know, I'm bad luck or whatever. Fuck you. I know for a fact it was broken. Day 55, I even tried taking a wither skeleton spawner from that dungeon earlier, and that's when I learned that they don't drop anything. I was kind of running out of options to get these wither skulls, so I went to clear my head by fucking up a lighthouse. I bet you never thought you'd hear those words arranged in that order before, did ya? Regardless, I had an idea afterwards. Some structures in this game, namely the graveyard mod ones, have a chance of spawning wither skeletons and just having the skulls lying around. So I went adventuring, looking for any skull that I could find. I was gonna kill the wither if it was the last thing I do. I actually did find a wither skull in this abandoned house, which actually wasn't abandoned. It had cultists downstairs, and after killing them, I stole their netherite chest plate. This is important, do not forget. Just literally a couple minutes later, I was flying around and I found a crack in the earth. And there they were. The rarest mount in this mod. The one I'd previously killed by letting it hit me. I found another dragon. Immediately, I flew in and got naked. Uh, uh, okay, that sounds weird. I took off my chest plate as to not kill the thing by existing. The dragon was not happy. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want this thing, but I need it to come over here. That that thing is killing me. Netherite chest plate! Oh shit! See? I told you that was important. Please. Please, I just wanna love you. Yeah, yeah, try knocking me off now, you fuck ass. I will trap you in a circle until you love me. I will encapsulate you until you calm the fuck down. Fucking love me, buddy. Woo! Okay, after that fiasco, I caught this fucking dragon and took him back home. I don't have any wither skulls, but I have a fucking dragon now, so that's gotta count for something. A dragon that is very glitchy at times. I tried to store them in a lasso, and that proceeded to break the space-time continuum. 
Uh, oops. I got that sorted after a bit, and on day 58, I was still searching for graveyards. This had a double purpose, though. I needed those Wither Skulls, and I really, really, really wanted a Totem of Undying. If I'm killing the Warden at the end of these 100 days, I need some safety net. But no, I didn't get either of the things. <sighs> day 59. Would you guess what I'm doing? Yeah, still looking for fucking skulls! I'm half tempted to crack my own open and see if it's withered at this point. Maybe the Doom Bunny has one. Nope, and he didn't even have good loot. I feel cheated. Day 60, our lovely mod creator Chunkies came to my rescue again. Sorta. He tipped me off to a structure in the nether that has not one, but two wither skulls. And the search was on. And I mean the search was on. I ran through fortresses, fought another fucking evil hand boss guy, dude. Goodbye. And I actually fucking found it. And just like Chunkies had said, there were two Weather Skulls, bringing my count up to three. I never want to have to find Weather Skulls like this again, which won't be a problem because Chunky saw me having this problem and fixed it for later. A little late for me, but not for you guys. Speaking of you guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to hit that like button. Maybe subscribe, leave a comment, do whatever the fuck you want. I just put a fuck ton of effort into this shit, and if you like it, it would help me out. Thanks again for all the support, and subscribe, like, yada yada, you hear the shilling, let's get back to the 100 days. Day 63, now that I have all the skulls, I buried myself in the earth and got ready to bop the wither. Your eyes are deceiving you. Nice, got it. I wasn't expecting much from the little guy. I fought way stronger things than him already, so it was more of a transaction than a stressful boss fight. But I got the nether star, and now all I need is dragon's breath. If you're wondering why I'm getting all these random items there for a recipe. See, my TV remote that I've been using to access my storage is great, but it doesn't work in other dimensions except the overworld. I need to change that for later projects, and if I ever get in a bind. Well, with a nether star, a heart of the sea, and a bottle of dragon's breath, I can increase the signal to be multi-dimensional. Don't ask me how, I couldn't tell you. So I made four more in crystals and went to have round two with the ender dragon. Second verse, same as the first. She was really easy, but before she went down, I snagged three dragon's breath from her. Now I have everything I need for the recipe, and I made the remote. Then on day 64, it was back to questing. I still really, really, really want a totem of undying, and after getting disappointed at like 50 more graveyards, I decided to do it the old fashioned way. I leveled up a cartographer so that they would sell me a map to a woodland mansion. And we headed off. Only problem is that my wings trident combo is a little broken and a little too fast. Like, this too fast. I gotta stop crashing this game, man. Reloading back in, I found the mansion. And with how my luck has been going, what do you think happened? Was it A, all of the pillagers had despawned because I broke the chunks getting here, B, they welcomed me with a birthday candles and a million totems of undying, or C, I exploded. You know with how the game has been treating me? I wouldn't put it past C from happening, but it was A. No one was there. They put a fucking gone fishing sign outside their door and they all left just to fuck with me. I'm so tired of being denied totems, dude. I'm so tired. This is personal now. I went to the pillager outpost that I knew of and uh, took some aggression out, let's say. Pillagers, I'm about to piss off the whole squad. Fucking of course. You know what, why not? No, yeah, 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 blood moon. Blood moon, perfect fucking timing. I'm now no longer allowed to go to villages. Where's the head? I wanna get like, I wanna get level three. By day 66, I got Bad Omen like 20 and went to the nearest village to make an example. I started the raid and just went to town. This was rather easy with my gobber bow, sword, armor, dick and balls, everything's made of gobber. I got the fucking totems. Do you see that shit? Do you see what I just picked up? It's a fucking totem. Actually, it's multiple types of totems, but we'll learn about that here in a couple days. Later that night, I made it home and with five totems in my pocket, I was a little ballsy. It doesn't even kill me. Man, I really needed to test the limits of this armor. Data MLG water bucket from the height limit, just for the lulls. Uh, what's in it for me? What height is the ground at? No idea. Dear God, there's no way I'm clutching this. I'm insane! I'm fucking cracked! <laughs> I have no words for that. Just 
Thank God I got that on camera. Day 68. I think that's enough excitement for a couple days. So I turn my sights towards building and shipping. Shipping? No, 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 bad, no, not the right word. I turn my sights towards building and shaping our base. Oh my God. Up to now, it's just been an island. I like the open aesthetic, but I think we can polish it up a bit. But oh, would you look at the time. Day 69. If you're a veteran of this channel, you know what's about to happen. If you're new here, allow me to explain. I'm a fucking 12 year old at heart and day 69 is funny sex number. So every time we reach it, I commemorate the occasion by building a shrine in the form of a sign. I've done this for every 100 days so far and I'm not letting the tradition die here. I've built a lot of these in my time, but I have to say this might be one of the sexiest ones, <coughs> pun intended, that I've ever built. I love the way it looks. Also, the crying obsidian really sets it off. There's something really funny about the sex sign dripping. <clears throat> Kids, if you don't get that joke, ask your parents. Also, don't watch my channel. It's not appropriate. How you would have gotten this far without knowing that, I have no fucking idea. Back to business, day 70 and day 71. I replaced my island's floor with blackstone and citrine. I don't really know what I'm doing with the arches and roof type thing, but I think it looks cool. All right, I know it looks really fucking weird. I, I don't know what I was building either, but we live in this reality and we just have to get over it, okay? <laughs> don't comment down below saying my base looks dumb. I, I know it's dumb, I made it. Speaking of realities we live in, guess what I did? Yup. I swear these 100 days write themselves. The reason it crashed again was I was searching for a jungle mansion, something I have a map to, but judging by that crash, I'm not gonna find it. So back to building. I tried sprucing up the storage room and of course broke everything in the process. I don't know how I can be so good and bad at Minecraft at the same time. It's truly astounding. Day 73, I needed to feel at least a little competent. So I built, with my minimal knowledge of the mechanism in this game, mind you, a furnace setup that smelts everything and sends it to chests. It takes the charcoal, then smelts it and puts those into generators to keep everything running. Basically, this thing is now completely automated except for the need to chop trees every once in a while for charcoal. If I was smart enough to make a tree farm, I would. But I'm not, so let's keep moving along. Day 75 was the final day of stream three, making tomorrow the last day of stream for this entire 100 days. I used a lot of netherite to make a backpack, I don't have anything else to use it for, and needless to say, we've made a lot of progress. I didn't do much but screech at my chat for the last day of stream 3, so we can just move right along to stream f The final day of stream is upon us. Day 76 begins and we only have a few hours, like 9, okay, 9 hours to get everything done. So we start off by heading to the end. Overnight, Chunky's actually updated the pack to have the better end mod for 1.18 as it just came out. So I'm expecting a lot more end to explore. I'm also looking for a certain few items, namely ender shards and chorus plants, or a giant fuck off pillar in the sky, that works too, which had an end portal frame on top of it. So I inserted an eye, obviously, and... Oh! Okay! He's pulling me in! What do you mean he's not Slow falling is not good for me right now. Slow falling is not good for me right now. Slow falling, slow falling, slow falling. Fuck that, because I'm already slow. Okay, the Obsidolith is a little angry. And I, I, I don't understand why. I have no idea why the Obsidolith would be upset. I gave you a, oh, now he's invincible. Dude, just like dad. I'm guessing I destroy your fucking dumbass runes. Die. Die! I have Bane Miner. Die! 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 Damn, this thing is strong! Okay, you- chat was not lying. Oh, yeah, you can just jump! Yeah! 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 We- we jump hours! Big jump hours! Yeah, yeah, that's fine. No, 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 now is not time to access the inventory. I'll just take the L. It's fine. I just need to get him past that health bar part. Yes! Fucking suck it, Obsidolith! Get out of here, bitch. What a great way to start off stream four. Day 77, I just ran around the end looking at all the new biomes and structures and you'll never guess what fucking happened. Dude, I swear to God, this is like the 50th time I've crashed the game. I'm gonna lose my mind, man. I'm going to I'm going to crash a car into a bridge. I don't care, I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba, call me McDonald's. <clears throat> I had this really close call here. I mean, I had a rocket, so I would have lived, but it sounds more dramatic saying that it was a close call, so hush. Afterwards, I headed back home, but not to cower away in fear. You see, over the course of these 100 days, every 100 enemies you kill, you can get a soul star. Now, I've already amassed two, so I sat at the grinder and got two more, and they're needed for a certain event in this game. 
a boss. Yeah, it's 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 another boss. To get to this boss, I headed to an ice biome and found this tower. The soul stars can lead you there like eyes of Ender. Then I ascended the tower, placed the soul stars, and <sighs> I love it. Where? Where are you? The night lich? Hello? Down here? Up there? Where are you at? Oh! Oh my god, that's so scary! Holy shit, that's awesome! Oh, I love it! Oh, I love it and I hate it! Hello, Night Lich! Let's dance! I gotta lead my shots. This is the only dude I've ever had to lead shots with because this bow fires so quickly. But he's just that fast. Oh, he shoots bombs! That's cool. Now, what is that? What is that? What was that? What, what are those? Oh, they're phantoms. Okay, you're spawning quite a few! Buddy! No need! Oh, this boss is sick. Okay. That's fine. Ow. You hurt. String. Get out of here. Die. What did I? What did I? Oh, it's fucking over. Oh, it's over. GG. We survived not enough days. This guy's, uh, this guy's gonna kill me. This guy's actually gonna kill me. Holy shit, now. Send this shit, buddy. You've lived for too long, Night Lich. That's another boss down. How many is that now? I've lost count. I'll be honest with you guys, usually I ignore chat and their dumb requests, but people were so insistent that I get another bat. So on day 79, I listened to public demand for the first and last time. Then I promptly killed the thing. Get fucked. I did find a purple nightmare though and took her home. She was just too regal and terrifying to leave. Day 80, I had too many horses. A nightmare I named Midnight Glory, Blackjack, and a skeleton horse I found randomly I named Jimmy. So I built them all a stable. Friend did not fit in the stable. Sad face. Day 81, my bloodlust for killing the Ice Lich bitch had not been quelled, and I knew I needed to smite some more bosses. I'm really just gonna kill everything I can in these 100 days, ending with the Warden on day 100, aren't I? All right, well, if that's my destiny, then let's rock this shit. While looking for more bosses to kill, I found a really sick looking graveyard. And now that I already have like six totems, I fucking found one in the chest. Mm, that would have been useful, oh, I don't know, like 80 days ago? <sighs> Uh, whatever, I'm back in the nether, day 82, and I'm gonna accrue Crying Obsidian. Then I'm right back in the end. Using the Crying Obby, I made a shrine looking thing and put my dragon egg on top. Then I waited. This took so long, I went and got a sandwich. But on day 83, the eye spawned. Now I'll spare you the pleasantries. The fight went like this. What do I do? What do I do? I don't know what to do. Oh! I've angered it! It's not happy! Okay, well. You're gonna, you're gonna, like, just sit there like that. You're kind of pathetic, aren't you? You can die now. That was fucking easy. He was really easy. Afterwards, chat informed me that there was a portal above the eye that took me to another boss. This motherfucker. <sighs> I'm not exaggerating when I say that the Void Shadow is the dumbest and worst boss in this entire mod pack. Okay, so get this shit. The Void Shadow just revolves around this little platform that has become the arena. You can't break anything and you can't get close enough to hit him. Arrows don't work either. After running around for like 20 years trying everything to hit this guy, he spawned little crystals. You'd think exploding these would hurt the boss and it's just a war of attrition. Well, yes and no. Hitting these things causes them to explode, damaging you and destroying the crystal. Once all the crystals are dead, he spawns smaller crystals. These guys make little tornadoes upon Death because yeah, that makes sense. And all the while minions are chasing you and shooting the slowest, most non-threatening ball of doom known to man. After this cycle, you think the boss would take some damage and then repeat, right? Well, yes, the cycle repeats, but no, he doesn't take any damage. There's no indication of what you should do here, but after literally Googling a tutorial, you're supposed to use these slow balls to hit the crystals that in turn damage him. Only these crystals though, the other ones that are tornadoes, don't do anything. And the only way to get those crystals is to take out all the tornado crystals before he goes blah and resummons them. If this sounds confusing, that's because it fucking is. Also, not to mention, these balls move slower than the minions most of the time. So I 
found it hard to hit the ball. I eventually got good at it, but this was so poorly executed that it just left me banging my head against a wall. Eventually, he turns completely black and then you can wail on him, but it's so slow and arduous. If the fight was hard, I'd have no problem with him having a lot of health, but it's not, so it's just annoying and tedious and not fun at all. So in short, Fuck this boss, I killed it, let's get the fuck out of here. Day 86, let's take a fucking breather for a minute and focus on those totems that I got a while ago. I've never seen this mod before, but these totems are actually pretty cool. You can make a blank totem, then enchant it to be either passive or active. Active totems give the effect upon something happening, like low health, death, burning, etc. And passive totems just give an effect that slowly wears durability of the totem over time. I made a passive totem with health boost, which would give me 45 total hearts, boosting me from 30 when I have this armor on, and an active totem of void saving and undying. I also fused the undying one with netherite to give it three uses instead of one. Note that does not make this thing lava proof. Grading the netherite does not make totems fireproof. It is not that netherite totem about to die because of n how not fireproof it is. <laughs> also, side note, the glitchy white horse is glitchy. The skeleton riding it is, it was a boss. I stole his horse. Day 87, I decided to embrace my inner Wisconsinite and fish. I fished for about two days, and I'm gonna gloss over that because this video is getting really long and it wasn't that interesting. $10 for a puffer fish, fine. There. I hope you're happy. I still have some time before the big warden fight, so I'm gonna waste it by learning arcane science. I stole some magical books from this village and made a wand out of amethyst. The first spell I found was lunge, and because I'm EQ, okay. Does it work while flying? I broke the game. I found the broken. Chad, I found the broken. I broke the game a bit with this. Even the mod creator was like, yeah, I need to get that patched. There's also some spells like crazy lightning strikes, but I'm more of a fan of infinite flight. Day 90, I took my new skills to the end and flew around looking for fun. Then I was reminded by God who was in charge as my game froze for a bit and... Oh no. Excuse me? Excuse me? Pardon? So what happened here was my game didn't slow me down because it couldn't keep up with how fast I was flying. By the time it had caught up, it thought I'd slammed into the ground. So lesson learned, I'll be more careful. Day 91, I'm running around in a cave. Day 92. I exploited the fact that I was fireproof and found nether gobber at the bottom of the lava ocean. whoop de fucking do. Yeah. Day 93, I existed. I found a turtle on day 94. And I decided to start enchanting. It's almost time to fight the warden and I need to be completely decked out if I'm gonna even stand a chance. Now, currently in this mod, the warden is actually not available. It's in the mod, but he doesn't spawn naturally. Thankfully, Chunkies came to my rescue one last time and made a version with a craftable warden egg. To craft this, we need ender shards, pearls, chorus flowers, diamond dust, and of course, an egg. At this point, we have everything we need, so I hope you enjoyed the footage of me building a home for my new turtle named Ollie while I explained all that. Day 96, I added to my base a little, just making it look pretty. Okay, I was totally stalling for the warden fight. It's hard to time out all this stuff, sue me. I have just been informed by my lawyer that I'm not allowed to threaten you guys to quote, sue me. So, uh, please don't do that. Day 97, I built the arena for the warden fight. I wasn't just gonna fight him out in the open, that would be boring. And if you'll indulge me, I wanna take just a minute to just thank all you guys. This is a long video. If you've made it this far, you're amazing. First off, thank you all for supporting this channel. Last year was crazy and we did a lot. I hope you're ready for this year, it's gonna be insane. And if you're new and you made it this far, welcome. I hope you subscribe and you enjoy your stay. Also, I have a second channel. If you wanna check that out, there's a link in the description. We have a series over there called No Effort where I basically put no effort into the video and we have fun nonetheless. Thank you again for everything. It truly means the world that you all love this channel. Like jokes aside and sassy bitch me aside, I can't wait for you all to see what we have in store this year. Thank you for making my dreams possible. Okay, enough mushy stuff. Day 99, I went to my arena and prepared to spawn this demon. I steeled my nerves, placed the egg. Here we go, chat. Five up quick, really. Oh shit! Oh, he hits hard! Oh, he hits hard!
Holy shit, he actually hits hard. He actually hits really hard. He actually hits really hard. He doesn't have a lot of health, but dear God, he hits hard! Don't let him hit you, don't let him hit you. Capple. No, 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 no. Fuck off, fuck off with that. Fuck off with that. Fuck off with whatever you're doing. Holy shit, that's so much damage. Chug, chug, chug the gapples like there's no tomorrow because there will not be if I lose here. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm in the reds. I'm in the reds, I'm in the reds. No, go away! Holy fucking shit, I nearly died. I know I had like 16 hearts by the end of it, and that sounds like a lot, but watching the footage back, I saw that this thing does 11 and a half hearts of damage per hit. That would one-shot me if I wasn't wearing this armor. Then chat said we should fight two. Do we do another one? Chat, y'all want another one? I'm hearing another one. I'm hearing another one. Two at the same time? I think that would kill me. You said you want two, huh? Everyone says, EQ, don't do two. You're gonna die, you're a little baby bitch, and we've never trusted. In theory, I had everything I needed to fight to. Just needed the Ender Shards, which I grabbed at the end of day 99. But theory can only go so far. I didn't think I could take out these two fuckers. However, sitting in your comfort zone isn't going to have you improve whatsoever. With that said, I jumped back in the arena. Ante up. Not one. But two. Oh fuck, I didn't place the other one. But two. I just gotta kill him. That's it. Hi. Get fucking wrecked. Get rolled. Get rolled. You can't fucking touch me. Okay, he can touch me. He definitely can touch me. it. Two Wardens, 100 days, live. We are victorious. There's still tons more ideas I have for this live world, so if you want to see me stream 200 days of this, make sure to comment down below and let me know you'd like to see that. Or that you like pancakes. I don't really care, they both work for the algorithm. For now though, this video has gone on long enough, so I'll shut up. My name has been Eclipse, EQ for short, and thank you for watching.